I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So I'm one of four children. I have two wonderful parents. Um, and they have always worked really hard to put us first and sacrificed a lot themselves. And they both worked multiple jobs the, the entirety of their lives. So by the time I got to college, you know, I was really looking for an opportunity for an institution to help me out financially so I could take that burden off of my parents and say, hey, I got this from here on out. One of the things that stood out to me even all these years later was my first trip to Fenster Hall at the Albert Norman Honors College and a meeting I had with Ms. Chapepo. And when she sat down with me, she made me feel welcome. She made me feel like this was a place where I could come in. And if I worked hard, the words she used is, you could be a superstar. So when somebody tells you that, of course you get motivated. The scholarships, for lack of a better term, were liberating in many ways. So what the scholarships enabled me to do is first and foremost, fully focus on academics so that I could be putting in my full effort and treat that as my full-time job. In addition to that, it allowed me to be very involved on campus. You know, I wouldn't have been able to live on campus if I didn't have scholarship money. I was able to enhance my personal college experience because of the freedom that those scholarship monies gave to me. When I was eight years old, my dad underwent a quadruple cardiac bypass surgery, which was a big financial and emotional burden for our family. And I've always wanted to be in healthcare in some capacity. So when I first started college, I wanted to go into medical school. I wanted to be a doctor, a cardiologist, and study and go on that path. So I studied biomedical engineering but when I started delving into the biomaterials and tissue engineering courses, I became very passionate about this new cool concept, it was new for me, of regenerative medicine. And I wanted to go explore that path. And luckily, the university allowed me to pursue that path. So when I graduated with my master's, you know, I decided to pursue a different field in technology, but all along the way, still staying in touch with healthcare and my roots and my passion for wanting to help people live healthier lives. And that's what I'm doing in my company today. I do feel like NJIT really encourages students to have a growth mindset. So learn broadly, try new things, diversify your skill set, and apply those lifelong skill building efforts so that you realize when you get that degree, that's where learning starts again. <laughs> I would say my NJIT experience has not only prepared me for, but has prepared me to excel in my career and where I am now.